Welcome back to another Luminar Neo update video, this time covering version 1.10.0. It has been 28 days since the last update and Skylum has added even more enhancements and features to improve our editing experience. In this video, we will first go through the list of updates before demonstrating the edits within the application. Ok, so starting with the list of updates for the latest version 1.10. At the top of the list you can see the newest Upscale AI 2.0. The extension went through lots of updates and you should now see a significant quality improvement on both the function and face recognition within this extension. Moving on the next point, you will now be able to collapse individual extensions panels in the catalog view. As you probably know, in the catalog we can find the HDR merge, focus stacking and upscale AI. By being able to collapse them, you can customize your workspace and have a little cleaner experience. Additionally, there are also some interface changes for noiseless AI, super sharp AI and magic light AI extension. Now moving on the next point and leaving the extension behind, Luminar Neo now supports some of the latest and newest Sony cameras. On the next part you will see that Luminar is also constantly focusing on how to improve the initial experience of using Luminar Neo. This is why you're going to find the new I info button for each tool in edit module and also the onboarding process receives some welcome improvements. And finally, if you enjoy using custom skies or presets, you will now be able to purchase them directly within the application. Now talking about presets, also at the end of the video I will show you our latest product, the Luminar Neo Essential Preset Bundle. So now we know what we have in front of us, so let's jump into the application and let me show you all the news and features. And finally here we are in Luminar Neo where as always we are gonna start by updating the application. Now if you are a Windows user, you need to go and click on the Luminar Neo logo and then search for help and then check for update. For a Mac users, just like me, you click on Luminar Neo logo and then simply select check for updates. Now as you can see the new version is available, so I will update it. I will not go through the whole process, but it's really as simple as clicking on a install update following it all the way through and once you update it, we meet here and continue reviewing the updates and features. And now back in the application and before we start, just quickly double check the version of your software by clicking on the Luminar Neo logo again and then about Luminar Neo where you should now see the version 1.10.0. If this is all in order, we can finally start. Ok, so starting with the extensions, here in a catalog module we gonna start by looking at the upscale AI. This extension received a significant quality improvements and it should work much better. They were focusing on improving the overall result, including the face enhancer. So we have a sample file ready here with this little boy and his mom, you can see that it's really blurry and now all we need to do is to drag and drop it on the extension. Once we there, let's click on the little three dots in the top right corner and now you can choose the upscale type and you have a choice between universal and experimental. For the time being, let's stick with the universal and let's make sure that the face enhancer AI is on. After this we can kinda click away, select a twice the size and simply click on upscale. So Luminar Neo will now scan the image, apply the upscale and then it will give us the result. And as you can see right here the result is really cool. Now there are some things that still need adjusting just like a little bit of dress here but looking at the face it's actually quite incredible. In past we had a little issues specifically with the 
phase enhancer. However, you can really see how it's moving forward and getting better and better. Since we still here in a catalog module, we can now zoom out of the image, jump in all the photos and move on the next point. And that's the collapsible extensions here in the main menu. So in past, they were all here pretty big and they were taking a lot of space. So unless you use them on daily basis, you can really simply collapse them down. And you can do that by clicking on them on the top, just like this. And once you do that, they will be nicely hidden in a corner and you can just open them when you need them. Don't forget that you can also hide this whole toolbar by clicking on this little icon on the top of the bar here. Once you do that, it completely disappears and you will get even cleaner experience and cleaner workspace. If you want to bring it back, click on it again. And again, just click on any of the extension to open it. Moving on through the list of the updates, let's select another image and move into the edit module. Here, we're going to look at the new eye info button available for all the tools in our main toolbar. To see it, we can move into the main toolbar, open one of the tools here. So for example, the develop tool. And now in the top right corner, you can see the little eye icon. When you click on that, it will open a little window with a simple text explaining what is the tool for. If you want even further information, you can now click on the learn more, which will open the full Luminar Neo catalog. And it will open specifically the page focusing on this tool. So in our case, we were looking at the develop tool. So as you can see, it opened on the tool. And now you can go through the list, you can check all the sliders, and you can get as much information as you need. And to finish the list of updates, I should also mention the possibility of purchasing additional skies and presets directly in the application. To do this, we need to go to the top right corner of our screen, and click on extras. In past, we have used this to install new extensions, but now we have more options here. And one of them is the marketplace. When you click on it, you will get the option to choose between presets, skies, LUTs, and overlays. Let's go back to the presets, where now you can go and scroll through all the preset collections here. And if you like one, you can click on view presets and find out more about it. When you're happy, you just click on Add to Cart, and from here you can proceed to check out and purchase it directly from here. When you purchase the presets here, they will be automatically added to your profile and also into the application. When you finish here, all you need to do is to click on the little red button in the top left corner of this window. And the talk about skies and presets leads us to the final item on our list. Here, I want to share some exciting news about our latest product, the Essential Preset Bundle for Luminar Neo. With over 380 presets in 38 collections, this bundle has everything you need for your photography projects. Our presets cover essential raw development and even include celebrity-inspired looks from photographers like Ansel Adam and Annie Libovit. We spent a lot of time designing this bundle to make your editing process faster and more inspiring. So that way you can create your own unique style. If you are interested in learning more about the bundle, check out the link in the video description. And if you purchase it today, you will receive a bonus preset collection called Golden Hues. And this collection is perfect for the upcoming summer season. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.